So this video is just to show everybody that we're actually still here. It has been a thrash around here since we got back, trying to get the shop cleaned up. Um, what the fuck I have we been doing? Seems like I've been going non-stop. I've been so, hurting people and you've been slaving over yet another car. I did what? And then you've been slaving over yet another car. Okay, so <clears throat> if, if, if anybody out there hasn't heard, which I, I'm sure everybody has, I'm going back to the 405 show. And part of the deal with going back to the 405 show is we were, we're going back to real street cars. Like my Chevy 2 is why we were built, actually putting the Buick together. Buick's not going to make it. <clears throat> my buddy Aaron ended up with kidney stones that put him down for like a week and a half, two weeks. So, I mean, he's going to shut, he's literally going to shut his shop down. I didn't tell you this either. Got to shut his shop down next week, to try to get it done because we thought we were going to do all this like on the 18th. Well, the truth of the matter is this Friday, we're actually filming. So, uh, after careful consideration, my brother's got the gold car and he's got about has it done. But I don't know if we're going to have it done in time. So, here we are. The fallback Chevy 2. So, we changed it over to from the Sniper to a Terminator. And in the process of doing the Terminator, what got me started down this path? I started down this path before that. About changing it over or? Yeah. Well, because you've been asked more than once, are you gonna bring that Cheater Nova? Well, no, Dave's the only one that's called it the Cheater Nova. Oh. No, well, Ryan and Sean have Ryan been on my Sean. ass about bring the Nova, bring the Nova. And I said, man, that, I just I don't wanna race this car without, without no kind of roll cage or nothing in it, even though it works really killer on the street. But I guess sometimes these cars got a mind of their own because me toiling over, should I bring it, should I not bring it, blah, blah, blah. And then Stacy came out and made the final call the other night. Yeah, because so, it just make, let me give my explanation. Just yeah, I give you your explanation? Just makes sense. So, well, you know, Sean's bringing the car that he originally started street racing 55. in. And you originally started street racing in a Nova back Why? in the day. Well, that was what... That's what that was my fast car. Yes, that that was the yeah. car. That was the first time I ever went into the nines and all that was that car. Yeah. yeah. So that was the car that, other than two time, one time in Tulsa, never got it outran. Yeah. So I get it. I don't. I know why you don't want to cage this car. I get it. Why you don't want to race this car on the street? Basically because you don't want the guy next to you to get into it and tear up this car that we've had. I mean, we've had this car for 15 years. It's been in our world. So, Did I have this car before you? No, we got this like a year after. Okay. But we've had it a long time. So I, I get had a it. lot of good times in this car. And, yeah. And, and it would kill me if something happened to it. And I'm not worried about my driving ability, but, you know, we're no. racing on, on streets that nobody's ever been down before. Um, and, and we're racing people that we have no clue what their background pedigree if they can or cannot, I'm not saying anybody can't, but you just never know. Every time you climb in one of these cars, that's a risk you take when you turn loose of that button yeah. or let let the stamp stomp the gas. Yeah. And and as I get older, I get more in touch with my mortality. You know, I think about if I put this thing on its lid, what's going to keep it from crushing me inside the car? Yeah. Um, but I mean, the car is not, and the car is not as fast as everybody thinks it is. I mean, everybody swears to me, damn, this must be a you know, mid seven second car and it's not. Um, but go ahead and keep thinking that. <laughs> but yeah, keep thinking that. When you get beside this motherfucker, put Remember. all you got to it. <laughs> right off the hit, that way you can't be beside me. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I had the Terminator X in it. I never even drove it. Never, I've never even drove it with this motor in it. I don't know what the camshaft is in this thing. This is a mystery motor. Um, other than it holds oil pressure and it sounds pretty good. So when I'm sitting there thinking, if I am going to race this car, I've never had a drive shaft. So I've never, I've never pulled data on it. I mean, just this is about as basic a car because it wasn't ever supposed to be. Well, back in the day, real street rods and real street cars and real hot rods didn't have a data. Oh hell no. So shit no. We had data by looking at the spark plugs and the ET slip. There you go. Or whether you won or not. There you go. 
So I got thinking about it. I thought, you know, I, I've got the Terminator on it, and there's just, I thought, well, you know what? I'll put, a, I'll put an HP on it, and that way um, I'll have some more inputs and outputs. Oh, what a shit show. This is the problems I create for myself inside my head is what it is. So now it's the 11th hour. Actually, I've been thrashing on this thing for what, three or four days? I don't even know what day it is. We I don't know. either. We came home from Houston on Sunday afternoon, and I have when? been nonstop. Sunday afternoon when? Last week. I guess a week ago. I, don't, I, 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 honestly, I honestly do not know. Yeah. So, I changed over to cool unplug, and I said, I, I guess it was, I had a, I had an extra Holly Dominator, that's the spare computer for the race car, and for some reason, I, when I ordered all the stuff from Holly, I did not order a HP. So, I, I ended up putting a Dominator in it. And then I took the stainless fuel tank out, because I had all this dual pump bullshit on it, and I put a, put a fuel cell in the back. So... One of the other pitfalls that I'm going to encounter with this car, one, I don't know what it's going to do under boost. I don't know if the camshaft's going to like it, if it's not going to like it. This thing may be the biggest pile of shit that I've ever rolled out on the street with. But I also don't know how the car's going to work because I just took, shit, I don't know, 250 pounds out of the trunk of it by changing the stainless tank and the dual pumps. And I took all the stereo shit out. That'd and just The electrical put, nightmare. Huh? <laughs> The electrical nightmare, a.k.a. your stereo system. Uh, the stereo was cool. In fact, that 16-volt battery would clip off. Yeah. Um, and then when we got it all in there, driving down the road, it didn't sound nowhere near as good as it did sitting in the shop. Yeah. So I took all that out of it. So I'm kind of... And, and basically, this is Wednesday? I don't know. Tuesday. Tuesday? This is Tuesday. We're going to start filming t- tomorrow. They're going to do in-shop shit, and, of course, I'm nowhere near ready. And right now, i got to get in the truck go do my day job because we got a school that we're fixing to start, and i got to meet Pavel over there and see what's going to consist of for that job. So, here's you guys' update. As usual, out of time, it's a shit show, and um, i got to go to work. So, there's your update. I'm out. <laughs>